Good morning everybody, it's Pam. I'm here to do a video, not about orchids, so if you're an orchid person, um, it's not to do about orchids. This is a bird video, particularly about cockatoos. Um, I've made a few bird videos and people are really fascinated. Everybody loves turkey and turkey's great. I love turkey to death. But uh, people have asked me what it's really like to have a bird. And I just want to tell you factually how it is. I haven't cleaned it up because it hurts. This is just taking him out of the cage yesterday. I mean, he's sweet. I've had this bird um, 30 years. He's at least 40 years old. I uncovered his cage yesterday and he just like flung at me and attacked me. So birds are very unpredictable. Uh, I just don't want to give anyone the wrong idea because I hate this. I'm Turkey's third owner. I hate to see people get birds and then uh, give them away, um, rehome them. Uh, they're a lot of work. Cockatoos are very smart. The birds are not domesticated animals like dogs, cats, um, as the vet told me yesterday, um, cows, I brought them to the vet yesterday. I was hoping to get some kind of a calming medicine and the vet told me it'd be pretty much malpractice uh, to even give something like that would turn them into a zombie. Uh, they just are not domesticated and they're a lot of work. Uh, he's about 40 and he could live to be 80 years old and I've worked all week and today I couldn't sleep in past seven o'clock because uh, way before that he starts hollering. They're very demanding. Uh, he's very smart. He's potty trained. He gives me lots of love but you have to give a lot back in return. Uh, I just don't want you to think it's all pretty Birds are fun. If you want a pet forever, this is it. Uh, when you've had it, when you've had them for so many years, um, a lot of people go through life changes and things change. And um, one of his problems is um, he doesn't like the attention of a small my small dogs. He lost one of his homes because uh, the people had dogs, and they had two cockatoos and. They got rid of both of them, but I used to have pit bulls, and Turkey would run around with my last one. My pit bull was 17 years old when she died, and they were best buddies. But these little dogs, he is insanely jealous of. And as you can see, turn around, buddy. Come here. He's a picker. Um, he's picked almost all his wing feathers off. He's he's had all the blood work. Uh, and he's just neurotic. He has nothing wrong with him physically. It's just, uh, they're smart. And I buy him smart toys. And he'll even bite the lids off the smart toy. But just one second. Um, I've tried this stuff on him. AV Calm that you get on Amazon. For him, it doesn't work. But I went on forums and seen other people and they swear by it that I'm just pretty much making this video to help people that are thinking of getting a bird to really think it over because um, I was a lot younger when I got him and I went through a lot of life changes and just be prepared that he's going to be with you through all that and uh, and birds do bite just like dogs bite cat scratch. I mean, it's just nature. So everything's not always pleasant, but I mean, he's a lot of fun. He's sweet. Looking at him now, you'd never think that he'd just get up and do that to my ear. And I am going to clean it later, but it's sore as hell, man, let me tell you, because he really did get me. Um, he used to love my husband to death, and uh, my husband really liked him. My husband will not go near this bird now. He's scared to death of him. He has bit my husband 
and it's taken him like over a month to start healing. So uh, this bird, I can't let him on the ground. I used to be able to let him on the floor and just be free in the house because he is potty trained. But he'll go to attack the dogs now. So, I mean, he's he's dangerous. He's got quite a beak. But he did go to the vet yesterday. And um, stay here, buddy. I was going to try and show you. He got his beak trimmed up yesterday. He didn't need much of a trim, but that is trimmed. But he's a ham. And he's a lot of fun. But he is a lot of work. You have to give him a good diet. Um good, nice, roomy cage, and lots of toys, and he's actually very fun. He knows some tricks. Uh, when I got him, he already knew the tricks, and uh, so anyway, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help you out. People through the year or whatever, they have just seen other videos with him, and uh, They've asked me questions, so you were thinking of getting birds, and I'll give you the honest answer. So, I'm not trying to make it negative, because there's so many positives, but uh, honestly and truly, when I first got them, I thought birds would have a much better life being in captivity, because they've got toys, they've got their diet, everything provided for them, but it, now I do not believe in it. I do not think birds should be uh, captive. It's not natural. Uh, birds, as the vet even said, they're not normally a plucker in the wild because they've got uh, they've got their foraging and you know there's a lot for them to do, and it's not natural uh, with their mating instincts. I think they're uh, sexually deprived and uh, sexually frustrated, and honestly. I don't believe that they should be kept in captivity. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, and I'll answer any questions you have. Okay. Anyway, I just felt like I wanted to give a true, honest opinion what bird life is really like. And um, I do love turkey to death. And I think that when you get these birds, it's a lifetime commitment. So, otherwise he would not be with me because um, my life has definitely changed. But anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching.